She was the film actress and cabaret singer from Berlin, who became a Hollywood star and a movie icon. Marlena Dietrich, born 1901, has been a sex symbol and fashion idol since she appeared in German films in the 1920s. Known to have strong political convictions, Dietrich was unafraid to voice her opinions. She often retold the story that she had been approached by the German government to return to her homeland, but had turned them down flat. Dietrich, a staunch anti-Nazi, despised anti-Semitism and became an American citizen in 1939. Germany seemed to never forgive Dietrich for her US support, but on the occasion of what would have been her 100th birthday in 2001, the Berlin government officially apologized for its past snubs. Marlene Dietrich was posthumously made an honorary citizen of Berlin in 2002. Marlene is an absolute world star and a Berliner who has always said so, despite all the difficulties she had with Berlin. This is what became apparent today during the event. There were unpleasant scenes in the way Berlin treated Marlene. Yet she still always said she is a Berliner at heart, and this is her city. So the city should honour a personality, and this is what we've done today. Well, let me turn the clock back a little bit and say that Marlena was always very angry with Berlin, as only a real lover can be. And she chose, at the moment the wall came down, to refer to it as my Berlin. And it was clear that enough time had passed and enough change had taken place for her to re-identify herself with what was her her homeland. And being an American and proud of being an American didn't mean that she had to give up her ancestral roots. So for her, this award would be a particular honor because it would be a recognition of a lifetime being a Berliner. Marlena's patriotic work was perceived by many in her native land as treason, but she was anti-Nazi, not anti-German. In 1947, she received the U.S. Medal of Freedom for her war efforts. Starting with her breakthrough role as the sultry, unfaithful cabaret singer Lola Lola in The Blue Angel in 1930, Marlena Dietrich went on to make film history with her alluring looks in films such as Blonde Venus, Destry Rides Again, Witness for the Prosecution, and Judgment at Nuremberg. In conjunction with the 60th Berlin Film Festival in 2010, Marlene Dietrich was honored with a star on the new Boulevard of Stars, a Berlin version of Hollywood's Walk of Fame. The nearby Film Museum Berlin features a permanent Dietrich exhibition based on its huge collection of items from her estate. The collection includes over 3,000 textile items from the 1920s through to the 1990s film and stage costumes, as well as over a thousand items from Dietrich's personal wardrobe. Film Museum Berlin also holds 15,000 photographs of the movie Siren, including work by Cecil Beaton, George Harrell, and Lord Snowden. And there are 300,000 pages of documents, including correspondence with Bert Bacharach, Yul Brynner, and Ernest Hemingway. Dietrich was known for cabaret songs sung in a deep, sultry voice and often dressed as a man, her voice in film and on stage lending itself to a style that could be interpreted as androgynous, all this at a time when such things were just not done. Over a period of several decades, Marlene Dietrich was the ultimate Hollywood woman of mystery and a symbol of erotic allure for several generations of moviegoers.